All right, enough Star Wars talking. I'm gonna actually play a game here, maybe, kinda, sorta. So, I do like the fact that I get double Hydros on this, which makes it a little easier to rush. I'm just gonna go straight up T3 Air Rush. I'm gonna try three power generators, drop a freaking Strat Bomber, and see if I can kill six Mexes on somebody. Because that's the most hilarious thing you can do in this. Note to everyone who ever plays Rush Me More. This map, you must, absolutely must get a T2 power generator over your mexes. Otherwise, this exact thing is going to happen for you. Jar Jar is directly responsible for the Emperor. One of my favorite, favorite fan theories ever is the theory that Jar Jar is actually a Sith Lord. And he's been putting together all of the events of the Star Wars universe behind the scenes this entire time. I find it quite the interesting theory. Do, do, do. Do, do. In the comics, it says he dies after trying to cheer on some random kids. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that there was actually a canon death of his. So, oh well, I guess that's not a valid option then. A T2 shield, not a T2 power generator over the mechs, guys. Jar Jar was originally supposed to be evil? Dude, it totally makes sense. Totally makes sense looking at it. All right, I'm going to zap down, let's say, four mexes and then get some power generators going. Quick as I can, quick as I can. We're actually going to start with power generators on this side, I think. That one is going to have to be built later. Okay, so we're actually stalling for 23 with 100 surplus in power. So let's reclaim this in order to get a mechs faster. Basically, my only concern with this is to get T3 air. Because I don't think... I didn't actually look at my other slots. I don't know how outmatched or not I am. I do have Jonas on my team, which is a good thing. Armed, I hope that you're not going to be the one killing me right now. Clone Wars redeemed Jar Jar? I, I suppose, yes. I should not do that. I just like, there's so many epic battle moments in the Clone Wars. And then I know that the initial few episodes are really super cheesy because um, they are literally a kid's show and they didn't realize that they had such a large adult audience until further on in the program. But um, the cartoon series Clone Wars was pretty good in my opinion, just for like the story elements. And I had read a huge portion of the Extended Universe back when that was a thing. Yeah, I realize, Phoenix. But um, I think everybody knows what I meant. T2 shield over Mexus, not T2 power. Um, um. I'm just going to see how far I can go on this little power income. <laughs> See if anybody can scout that for me. And then I'm just going to keep ripping on through. So now that I'm looking at this, we actually do need to start on power. Because on my next mass extractor upgrade, I will be negative. I'm actually negative now. But that's fine. 
there's that complete, and minus 30 power. Excellent. Okay, so Jonas is going to try to get a scout in for me. That is a fantastic. We've got three mexes there, four mexes there, so I am on par with pink. Hopefully drawing ahead relatively soon. That's us balanced on power. And I am just going to keep socking these things away. That's a lot of scouting over there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. So there's that complete, and we'll move on. A Total Mayhem game? No. No, it is not. <laughs> Jar Jar took down a pirate ship all by himself. When did he do that? I don't recall that specific thing happening. It doesn't surprise me, though. Do I have... I do have the bot up. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Ah. <sighs> Have a relaxing day. Hopefully not do anything too super stressful. Except I just forgot to actually upgrade a mech. So that's cool. We'll catch up. It's fine. I've got enough to finish that one off. Finish this one on T2. Get the other book in. And go for a T2 air factory. Do, 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 do. Yeah, good call, Lord Reese. <laughs> no, sorry. That was the shoop. The shoop. Bluing me in on the mech situation. Alright. So we're going to go for that right there. I'm going to try to get a row of scouts in so that they all don't get shot down. And then we'll go for a T2 upgrade. So that's going to be me complete. I'm going to go T2 power generators over to this side. I'm going to try to get you in over there. Get a good a bit of intel. All of you select there. So I am going to save up a little bit of mass in the bank, but that is going to give me the mass I need to get my T2 power generator online as long as I don't end up with a power stall in a bad kind of way. There's my T2. So that is T2 ACU and capping T1 mexes. Three T1 mexes with a T2 land... What?! What is that? Holy cow. I don't understand at all what is going on right now. I also do not understand why my I let myself go here. Come on, guys. Let's get these built. I should not have let myself overflow that much. Maybe he's going for the one that's cheaper in power? I don't know. Oh, there's the T2 air factory. Okay, that makes sense. That uh, maketh sense. So we just need to try to bomb as many of these people as we possibly can. And that is the solution. Build Maver? Dude, I do not have enough mass for that. Not by a long shot. Overflow should be the name of a horror series. Talk about the real things in life. Let's go this way, like so. Go ahead and queue everybody up. I am going to reclaim all of you. And everybody assist there. Oh, I accidentally moved the engineer that had the order. Daggum it, that is so annoying. Do, 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 do. 
I'm gonna go in front of the Mexus because more than likely a strat bomb is gonna come from that direction. Okay, I see your T2 and I raise you a T3 in progress. So don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Brink has got a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Um, good. Have some coffee or a stim. I hear speed is good. <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm not singing wrong. I'm singing it exactly right. Chill out. This is how it's supposed to be. Alright, so that'll queue correctly. And then we need five T3 engineers. So once that is done, I need to upgrade you one. We'll do that and then build. Actually, I'm just going to leave my power out. I think I'll be fine. I'm going to regret that later, but I'll be fine now. So this is a T3 air factory on the way. He's doing one of the weirdest builds I have ever seen. Bar none. Why would you go T2 HQ land, T2 HQ air, and T2 on your ACU? That is just stupid. <laughs> uh Timeless milk, I'm, I'm glad that you're in a good spot mentally, I suppose. Maybe. Alright, this is going to be a hell of a power stall. But hopefully the end result will be worth it. We're stalling for 2k power. This is... Stall levels that shouldn't even be possible. I didn't know there was more than one Pegasus, unless you're talking about the Mexican Jesus. Also, I love how I'm building E storage when there is no um, there is no E to put in storage. This is entertaining me to no end. We have lost the middle, which is not at all comforting. And this strap bomber is way the hell later than I thought it would be. I thought that I could do better than that, but I think I have underestimated the power cost of a strap bomber by a pretty wide margin. Okay, so there goes that. We're going to get our T3NGs out, get our power underway, and then get all of our stuff situmicated. So... They should have my strat bomber on radar now. I'm going to try to get at least one clump of mexes. Let's see who is not shielded. That's going to be him. All right, I'm going to get all his power and most of his mexes. <laughs> oh, it's a thing of beauty. It is a thing of beauty. Oh, so sexy. So sexy. Come on. Loop, 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 loop. I gotta go back. I gotta go back. Drop the bomb. No, it didn't drop the bomb. Crap! It could have gotten the other ones. Can you, like, off-map? Nope. Apparently not. Okay, well, that's fine. Can we offload a sufficient number? You know what? Screw it. Do that. You go here. E3 max. Get rid of all you guys, and that is fine. Alright, well, I crippled their air player, so it's all good. <laughs> yes, now we see why T2 Mexes 
Um, <laughs> T T2 power is bad next to T2 Mexus. I think that was the best strat bomb I have done in a very long time. A very long time. He had a T3 Mex, but dear lord, did he pay for it. Okay, so there's T2 shielding up over that. Once we get this up, we will go for a delightful assortment of reclaimed T2 power generators as we scale our air. I think that this will work out just fine. It's a shame he had built so much extra power. I should have sent it up the middle and hit this and then that. I really didn't think that the rear player would not be building protection, though. That's like a totally foreign concept to me. I'm going to build another strat bomber just for kicks. Because I think I can kill four T2 mexes with one pass. And that is well worth suiciding a strat bomber for. Okay, so you're going now. Good, good, good. We got T2 artillery embankments up on the front. Excelente. We're winning the left navy. Everything is looking hunky-dory. Much lower rank than them, and I don't put power next to anything but power. Okay. <laughs> um, he wasn't doing much now, Timeless. But the back slot is typically the eco player. So by setting him behind an eco, I've actually done myself a huge favor. Um, is that going to be... I've got plenty of storage. That's fine. I will finish it. Put those in. You guys will assist there and then go for another generator. Meatan! Appreciate the sub, man! Resubbing? For the sixth month in a row. Freaking A, dude. That is awesome. Appreciate it. I'm gonna pull my uh pull my ACU in here. Get another T3 mechs going. So the question is, do I want to go for hardcore eco or do I want to actually have an impact on the game? Right now my team seems to have a decent handle on things, so I think I might actually just go for the hardcore eco route. Do, 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 do. Go for Ripper Spam. Ripper Spam is a whole lot later on in this game, man. A whole lot later on. What is being pinged? Ah, Torpedo Bombers. Hello. I will be on my way. Well, that was a mistake. Whoopsie daisies. So there goes that. Turn and get the other. Oh no, he had a Sam and my strat went way wild. Why would you do this? Crap. All right, well, we just got to make sure that we protect him from torpedoes. Wouldn't want one of our teammates dying to torpedo bombers, now would we? Go for another set. Give me the eco grids. All right, Lexi, we'll do eco grids. We'll see how well it do. So he's back up to T2 mechs, but by this point, I am almost up to... Well, I'm over half T3 mechs right now. So, yeah, that's an easy thing. Let me go here. Get a couple of these in. Get my air production up and rocking and a rolling. 
I really need to have this templated. I'm amazed that I don't. Actually, I might have it templated. Why do I not have that templated? I need two of you to come back in and finish those off, and then that is going to put me in a pretty fantastic position, I think. Let me get out here and save this. Got a couple passes with the Torps, but no big dealio. We'll get those eliminated, get a little vet on my ASF, and no problems were had that day. Oh, he has got Swifties. Hello there. That's fine. I'll just outrun them. Somehow still managed to kill off one of my ASF. I don't know how. Subcom 2, I think if it wasn't called Subcom, would have been a, would have been a relatively successful game. But it was called Subcom, and it did not live up to the Subcom name. So, might as well be blacklisted in the annals of history. Okay, so I need to be keeping an eye out for potential nukes because they may try to go for some shenaniganry involving either a large quantity of team built T4s or a nuke which it would appear we have multiple T3 gens going down on the outside so I'm gonna say that is probably likely to be a nuke and do something preventative in a few minutes let's see here you two, we're going to go take a little sight on the Navy. It'd be good. Swifties are extremely good. Um, the air staging is pretty useful in the late game, and especially if you're fielding, like, you know, 100-plus interceptors. Because interceptors run out of fuel fairly quickly. So... It's a good thing if you can get uh, air staging online because you've spent all that mass. You can just um, you can just refuel it instead of having to throw it away. I'm gonna go for nuke defense as soon as that finishes. So I am just barely even massed all right now, which is a good good thing. Once this power goes up, we're actually gonna have too much power, not enough air production, and then I'll start laying in some fabricators. And we'll get um, we'll get additional scouting intel right here. Just need to keep an eye on what's going on. I don't know why that song is stuck in my head so hard. Maybe I should start singing like Super Califragilistic Expialidocious or something. Might be a little bit more unique. What? Because it's a song that can be sung. All songs deserve to be sung. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. You are not going to take my stream away from me. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Should I be really evil this game? I'm debating on whether or not to be really exceptionally evil. I think I want to be really exceptionally evil. All right, we're going to be really exceptionally evil. All right. I mean, we could do a thing where y'all could like request songs and I could try to sing them. I can't promise that I will get them all right, and I might purposely or not so purposely mutilate the wording. 
just depends on how things are going. <laughs> I don't know what part of the world it's morning in right now, but it's definitely not morning in our part. That's for sure. And I've got all of my teammates covered beautifully with anti-nuke as my opponent is going for additional T3 power generators. That is a lot of AA. It really is. Go try to hang this navy with a little something, see what's going on over there. Maybe I should actually go stop this and go for some torps. Because I think Jonas is about to be in a bit of trouble. Yep, I'm coming, Jonas. Uh, that would be a no, Natery. That would be a strong no. I'm also not going to be performing the American National Anthem. Thank you very much. Okay, still T2 Navy with two people in the water. I need five torps to kill the... Um, five torps to kill the cruiser, and then I should be pretty good. Just need one more. There we go. So let me go kill that, and then we can start saving all this stuff out here. Jonas is doing a pretty dang good job, though. He's actually denying with an inferior number of destroyers due to his dodging, which is really good to see. Oh, ye mm -mm. I'm not going to kill it. This is why I hate Aeon Cruisers. And he actually fronted a destroyer in place of the cruiser to soak shots. So, the Aeon Cruisers are one of the only ones that have a high enough projectile speed and a fast enough fire rate to preemptively take out Torp Bombers. It's pretty impressive sometimes. My request goes unseen. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I don't know all the words to that song. I have not listened to um, Miley Cyrus or whatever her name is in quite a long time. Shouldn't it? I, I don't remember the words to it. I can, I can hear the tune in my head. Let's hope it doesn't get stuck because that would be a sorry one to have stuck in your head. I'm going to go back to ASF production, and you are going to assist here, who is going to go here and get that up, and then come back over here. Good, good, good. And now I'm in a pretty decent position to help Jonas out. Let's actually go scout out the Navy and see what's over here. Get all this tagged. See what's going on. <clears throat> <laughs> Pegasus, I don't know why you would want to throw your laptop out the window. That seems like a really aggressive response to something. <laughs> okay, so he's gone for multiple cruisers. Jonas, if you're listening to the stream, get ready to push. Because he has got nothing to stop you. And I am about to trash his world. Let's kill both of those. Uh oh. Oh, hello there. I see that you are trying to strap bomb me. That's fine. Are you not. How. Who is on the other side? A 1200. How are you. A 1200. I don't understand. I do not understand. At all. Well, he killed a couple of things here, so whatever. Give him a little credit. Let's get some shielding in around these. Little there, little there, little there. Upgrade it, should be good to go. And then somehow... Oh, because I'm not building anything anymore, that's why. Okay, well, I've got way too much mass. Awesome. 
Uh, Jonas, here, have some mass. I'm just paying no attention whatsoever to what's going on. <laughs> I don't have any stealth fields in my base. Do they have stealth fields in their base? I don't think they have stealth fields in their base. I mean, we'll see, but I don't think that's the case. Let's see. We need to go for this. And the rest of you. We'll go for a couple of little upgrades here. Let's just hope he doesn't randomly try to strap bomb me while my shields are fluctuating. That would be a bad time. That would be a real bad time. Is my nuke defense... My nuke defense is not loaded, which is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Those are T3 Torps, though. I can definitely kill those. Probably a good thing to take off of Jonas's hands. We'll kind of loop it doo da through there. And kill that and return. So that is another shield going up. And I don't see... Oh, there's a nuke. That is a nuke. Baby, you're a fine work. Don't let your colors burn. Actually, appropriate song for this weekend. <laughs> the buildings in Brink's base. Oh, crap. Did I really not load the nuke in time? Is that how this is going to go down? Load, my pretty. Load. I didn't think he'd had it for that long. All right. Oh, we nuked the Navy. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was so close. And it's after the Navy has already won. Oh, my goodness. That was almost the game right there. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Okay. Okay. So, that was a big case of life flashing before your eyes. Maybe I should not cut things so close in the future. I could just go full strat bomber spam after this. That might be fun. Megalith is going down in the water, which is not too terribly awesome. Okay, this is going to be a pain in the butt to break. That I do know. Uh, that, not so much. I think we can just teleport in and kill everything. It'll be fine. Teleport right back here. And zap him through the shields. What are we pinging? Oh, things going on in the front. Hello there. Go over to this side and then... At a minimum, I'll kill his power generators. At a maximum, I will kill him. <laughs> Alright, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. And... Teleport. Now they have no air. Strap bombers, ahoy. Do -do 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 -do. 
Well, that was not very nice. <laughs> uh, oh, look at all my ASF going to chase down one single solitary red air scout. That's just amazing. Can you, like, teleport already? Because this is making me nervous. I'm kind of sitting out here exposed. And it doesn't make me feel too good about my situation. I'm just ra waiting for the strat bombers to come screaming in. And that would be the end of me. And there we go. All right, I'm good. I need that one more, one more of these. And then maybe Monkey Lord? I should have the mass for it, actually. That's probably fine. Probably fine. Most likely. Oh, that is a GC on the front. Well, I'm glad that I have strat bombers producing. Hello. Let's assist that. Because otherwise, I am probably going to have a dead man on the front. Maybe I should teleport in behind. Oh, no, I should not, because there are bricks and all kinds of nasty things down there, too. Okay. Well, this could be problematic. Come on, come on. Okay, so he's got flak. That is a very healthy GC. Let's try to build this. Please let the other strats out. Come on, come on, come on. There they are. All right, he is marching right for the base. Thankfully, I got all the strat bombers out, so that's good. Can I get the monkey? That's the question. I think so, yes. Gear is going to die. I really wish he could have gone for possibly an overcharge before he did, but maybe we'll be fine. Come on. Finish, 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 finish. Okay, someone gave me a little. I'm in the green. Oh, dang. Bricks are in. One more pass with the strats. Heal it, heal it, heal it. You can do this. Yes. <laughs> We're out healing the damage of the bricks right now. And that is all that's going to save me. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. All right, run up. All of you go reclaim this base. And I am going to go make a Soul Ripper. Alright. Hopefully, this is going to be the end of it. Because I don't know if I can take a whole lot more of this. I'm hoping that this is all he has for his front line. There's a nuke. Did he kill my nuke defense? No, he didn't. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So that's going to be all that down. Now we can kill all of those. Oh, nice. You got a ripper, too. Excellent. That is going to give us air control and a hell of a lot of hurt to throw at the other guys. That is exactly what we needed. Unfortunately, lost a couple of T3 NGs on that one. That would have been useful to have. Okay, now I need Intel. So we're going to go with Scouts and go three on Assist to get some clean knowledge on what's going on. And that's going to be a bit of a hit from over there, but I think, yeah, we're maintaining. We're maintaining. It's all good. Thank you, Jonas. That is 
A glorious thing. I'm gonna wait until... I'm gonna wait until I get my second Soul Ripper so I can send them together. We'll end this quickly. Yes, I can strat commanders at this point. I'm getting there. I just have to get intel on them. So that's going to be red dead, or pink dead, sorry. Red is not going to be snipable. Orange is totally snipable. So I'm going to go kill him. Oh, that is a mega. Hello. Well, hopefully it dies before it can kill me. That's all I got to hope for. There he goes. Do you have the laser? I don't think you have the laser. It would appear that you have RAS. So there's red. Hopefully going down. He's going to take a lot of damage, but he's not going to get killed. That's unfortunate. All right, so P-Gen, kaboom, bat the HP, and there goes Orange. Nice. Now I should be able to take this in, and there's no more Sams to defend. So I can just go kill everything with the Rippers. Bug map? What is a bug map? <laughs> Oh, he is trying to tack missile me. That son of a gun. 14k, I can survive two more. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pause. Pause. Alright, sweet. Took the loss. We win it. Dang, if he had had two tacks instead of one launcher, I probably would have died there. Oh, that was a good... Um, that was a good response, actually. Brink carried hard this game. <laughs> and you were making fun of... Well, you not you personally, but you guys were making fun of me for, um, for strap bombing the guy who wasn't doing anything at the beginning. Unless you get way far ahead in eco. And that was all I really... Uh, all I was really hoping for on that one. Well played. Well freaking played. That is going to wrap everything up for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like and share it with someone. If you want to support the channel, catch the streams, or join the Discord, check out the links in the description. Thank you all for being at least partially insane, and I will see you in the next one.